Christ Against Drug Abuse Ministry. We cater to the treatment and rehabilitation of drug addicts, male and female, just to help get them off the street, give them back their lives again, and they can go back home, go start their lives and do all the things they choose to do. That is, just give them back their life. Kadam started when I was a parish pastor at Ikeja Parish, Ladipolu in 1981. Um, and then by the grace of God, this program uh, was, I mean, had to, we had to initiate the program at that point in time because of our location. Uh, given the location where we found ourselves, the, the children of these affluent people were involved in um, drug abuse, and some of them found, found their way to the church. From my own little experience, the percentage of our youths that are involved in drugs I'm very, let me just be conservative, will not be less than 25%. And that's very high for a society like ours. This is Araga. It's a town close to Ekwe, and this is one of our three centers. We have three centers, two for men, one for women. This is the initial phase, which is called Liberty House. This is the place where we take them, where we take them first. Because it's a one-year program, broken into six months each way. The first six months is spent here uh, in uh, Araga, in Liberty House. Uh, this is where we sort of repersonalize them. Because before they get here, they've lost all sense of self-worth. They don't believe in themselves. They've been on drugs for a number of years and they don't even understand what they want and what the purpose is. So when they come, the first six months they spend it here, and then they begin to get spiritual retraining and life retraining and how they can balance again their lives and discover who they are. Welcome to Araga. The program is free. And it was definitive in our intention to make it free because we believe salvation is free. There are a lot of these people been on the street for years. Who's going to pay for that? The people, when they've decided to come here, have decided to make a choice. It is not what I'm going through now, it is what I'm going to become. And I think that is the guiding principle of where that some of them stay. It's prayer, counseling, because all what we do majorly here is talk therapy. We ain't got any drugs to give them, counsel them, pray with them, and uh, teach them the word of God. And uh, there is no barrier that the power that is in the word of God cannot break. <laughs>